Good morning, my lovely group ones. It is Monday the 1st of March, and this morning we are going to be starting our phase four phonics. So you guys are so amazing. We have now finished phase three, so we're going to move on to phase four. Now, what is phase four? Now, very simply, we've got no new sounds to learn, which is really good. We're going to be going over the reading and the writing that we've been doing. Now, we have got some brand new tricky words to learn. And we've got something called CVCC words that we need to be learning. OK, now, what is a CVCC word? Because that just sounds like a load of rubbish. But it's basically a consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant word. Now, on the screen, I've got all of the vowels. So that's A, E, I, O, U, highlighted. They are all in bold in the blue. And the other words are all consonants. So it's basically a word such as pink, because P is a consonant, I is a vowel, and then N is a consonant, and K is a consonant. And it's just words like that that we're going to be really concentrating on over the next few weeks when we're doing this phase four phonics, OK? So today we're going to be looking at reading some of those CVCC words. Now, can you remember my top tips from before half term? It was all about spotting those digraphs and those trigraphs first, sounding out the word and blending it back together and then repeat the word three times. Now, it is really, really important that you spot those digraphs and trigraphs first and work out what they say, because you won't be able to sound out the trigraph or it, the word won't make sense. It's really important. So let's do a few of these together, OK? Now, if you need the picture to help you, that's absolutely fine. So what you need to do is you need to sound out the word and then the words and then put them back together again, OK? Blend them back together. So let's do this one together. It says k-e-l-t, kelt, OK? The next word we're going to do is m e l t melt. And we've got b e l t belt and felt felt so what does the picture show is it a kelt a melt a belt or a felt well i think that is a belt so it needs to start with a b so you know that there is the word and it says b e l t belt right well done let's see if you can get this one right so you might need to look at the picture and think hmm what word could we get from that picture to be able to help you? And I'd like you to sound out each word and see which one you think goes with the picture. So now is the time to stop me. So you have time to read those words and think, hmm, which one is going to be correct to go with that picture? Brilliant. Right. If you've read all those words, let's have a go together. So we've got b uh, um, p, bump. We've got l a uh, um, p, lump. We've got m a m p mump, and we've got h m p hump. Now I think the camel has a hump. So well done if you got that correct. On to the next one. Now remember, if you need to stop me, that is absolutely fine. Look at the picture. Think what does the picture show you? So the words say we've got l a m p lamp. We've got r a m p ramp. We've got d a m p damp, and we've got k a m p camp. Now I think that is a lamp. So let's see. Perfect. Well done if you picked that up, and that is the lamp. What is this one? What does the picture show you? Sound out those words, blend them back together again, and see if you can get the correct word to match with the picture. So. We've got n s t nest. We've got b s t best. We've got p s t pest. V s t vest. Which one of those words matches with the picture? It is nest. Well done if you got that one correctly. Now we are nearly there, everybody. Let's see if we can sound out some of these words. Remember, give it a go on your own first before just listening to me. So it says t o n d tond, f o n d fond, b o n d bond, p o n d pond. Now, what does that picture show? It in fact shows you a picture of a pond. 
what is this one showing you? Read those words. P -a -m -p pump. L -a -m -p lump. J -a -m -p jump. B -a -m -p bump. It is a person that is doing a jump. And that is it for today, everybody. Well done. You have worked super hard. We will keep practicing with these phase four and we're just going to build it up for the next few weeks. And then you'll be ready for phase five, which will have some brand new sounds. But it's really important that we can consolidate what we've learned in the phase three and applying those new sounds to reading and writing. And we've also got those tricky words to learn. Super work today, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.